for I am the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai. I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. All praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect. And another thing, too, neighbors is loud as hell. So if you hear some background, that's they wicked asses. But anyways, um, this, this scripture don't come out enough, man, because, you know, with a lot of people taking this word into their mouth, teaching precepts taught by men, changing the doctrine, saying God loves everybody when that's not scripture, saying that God is, is for everybody, which is not scripture. You know, um, I just love this scripture because the problem is, is that the Lord don't change, but people change the Lord. And I love that our power cannot be changed. And I'm happy that he is not a man because see, men change their mind all the time. Men can be double minded all the time. All it takes is for a situation for them to be in. But the Lord don't change no matter what situation is about. His word going to be fulfilled. He said he only loved Israel. That's it. But see, here's the thing. You got our own people who try to argue tooth and nail, try to save other nations. When you ain't even saved your damn self. For you to even talk like that, you in the same category as a, of a heathen. You, you should be trying to seek the Lord. As the scriptures say, search out your own salvation with fear and trembling, you know, and, um, you know, it's a beautiful thing to know this truth, you know, but knowing this truth is not enough. It's applying it. And, you know, through the little ups and downs that we go through in the flesh and things like that, I understand every day why Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai said those who endure to the end shall be saved because, you know, many are called, few are chosen. And to be called is a beautiful thing, but it's all about enduring to the end. But back to how the Lord don't change, you know, the kingdom of heaven is for Israel only. Even though in Proverbs 29 and 2, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear of rule, the people mourn. So, People not understand that with us in rulership, which we are the next ones in line, the whole earth is going to rejoice. The trees, the animals, shit, even the air. See, because when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And ain't nobody happy, man. People walking around the earth with masses on. You got the devil lying about the, the, uh, the CV-19, you know, to bring forth his agenda. You know, David Rockefeller said, if we could find the right crisis, then people will be willing to go into the new world order. But in this time, they call it the Great Reset. And what I love is people actually are going to rejoice when we are in power. Now, in the beginning stages of it, it's going to be a lot of back smacking. You know what I'm saying? A lot of ass kicking. And a lot of nations going into captivity, all the nations actually going into captivity because we went into captivity under them. But replacement theology is what people is trying to do to our word, man. People need to put down the book and only let the prophets of the Lord speak. And if you teach anything you know, if you teach anything and you don't teach it right, that can make a person discouraged. That can make a person be like, ah, I ain't really feeling this because I can't understand. You know, you grew up in Christianity. They tell you, you know, your whole life, hey, you know, God love everybody. Everything going to be all right. They teach prosperity. And the Lord said that he had blessed the poor to be rich in faith to inherit the kingdom. That's James 2 and 5. But you listen to the pastor, he wants you to give you, he, he want you to give away all your money to him while he's living lavish and you still in the hood, you know, struggling to pay your bills, man. And then us being brainwashed, I'm talking about Christians because I was one at one point in time. So us being brainwashed, 
you thinking that, oh, God is with him because, you know, he's living a good life, but we give it to him and we looking at this pastor as a godly man. So we don't even think twice about it. You giving out, you know, 10 percent of your check sometimes more because, you know, they, they say the more you give, the more you're going to receive. And you you giving your basically life savings to a wicked nigga who don't care for your soul. And um, this video is really mainly for a vent, a spiritual vent, you know, because the Lord don't change, man. The people change the Lord. See, you can't get around scriptures like this. Say, and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am Yahweh Bashim Yahweh your power and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. But guess what? The world is trying to make us ashamed, man. The ones who preach the actual true doctrine, the world is trying to make us ashamed for telling the world that, hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is the father and the son's real name, is only for Israelites. But guess what? Only the elect, the first go around. People don't like that. Because guess what? When you got, I'm going to get it, you know, we all know this scripture right here. You should, you know. Read it real fast. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? See, it's, it's a man on the earth. It's a nationality of men. Okay, a nations of men. A nation of men, you know, who are labeled the wicked. And they took our book, made it into their book, took out certain scriptures, uh, try to edify more on certain scriptures to take away from other scriptures, you know? So basically they just mangled the whole book and taught it the way that you could be a better slave and they can increase their white supremacy. See, that's why I said, you know, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Who was the judges? Us. He took our book, painted the likeness of his image, Okay. Made angels white with little peepees. Made the Israelites white. Okay. He made Yah uh, Shai white, who was a.k.a. Jesus. Okay. He made the father white. So every, and, and, and of course they're not white. They only put that term white on them because, you know, that's a, that the word, the definition of white means pure, or innocent. And we all know they, they ain't that. It ain't no such thing as a white person. There's no such thing as a black person. And guess what? Black is the opposite of white. Deaf, void of light, negative. You know? But this is what he did. So when the, when the wicked is given the earth, he's going to have a wicked vibration. And wicked people can't tell the truth. See, we in the information age. Let me see. I think that's um, 2nd Ezra 6 and 28. Uh... Let me see, let me see. Because this is the time that we're in right now. You say, as for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. See, this is what's happening. This is what's happening. See, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, but the real men of the Lord is flourishing right now. The truth is out. It's only meant for a certain number of people to get it. They going to get it. And then the end going to come, you know. But, you know, these type of scriptures don't come out because in the original King James Bible, the 1611, the Apocrypha was taken out. So you don't know nothing about the Greek captivity. It just went from, the, you know, from Genesis to Malachi and then straight to Matthew. It went from, it just went from the Old Testament Straight into the Roman Empire. No Greek. You know. No second part of the Babylonian um, um, captivity. With the uh, first Edris, second Edris. You know. The, the Medes and Persian Empire. You know. But anyways. But 
this is the time that we're in. You know, the truth is going to be flourishing, man. And that's why, as I say in um, Hebrews 5 and 12, let's get that real quick. When the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, you got to understand that the truth is not going to be out here like that. From when for the time you ought to be teachers, you have no need one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of the Most High, and are and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. See, people who's picking up this word have to be taught again. As I said, this is the first principles of the oracles of the Most High because we lost our way. All right, we lost our way. We lost who we were. We lost this knowledge. And the prophecy is that we're going to get it again. As I say in Jude, I'm going to put you in remembrance, though you once knew this. Okay? So, if the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, what makes you think that the, the true name is going to be in the earth? What makes you think that he's going to tell you that you are the people of the Lord? No, the wicked, as I said, let's go to John 10 and 10. This is this this is this is all he come to do. The thief cometh not but for to steal and kill and to destroy. And I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. See, we know the truth, so the truth make us free. And if we if we retain this truth, we're going to inherit everlasting life and we're going to be in the kingdom. And we're never going to cry again. We're going to never have sorrow again. We're going to never be sick again. And nobody going to rule over us again. All right? But this is the M.O. of the wicked. And what he do? When he came over here to the so-called United States of America, what did he do? He enslaved and slaughtered the Indians, which is the Latinos and Native American tribes. Okay? So everything that he do... It's contrary to righteousness and it's wicked. And he's a liar. What do I say about him? He comes out the womb speaking lies. <laughs> Let's get that, man. I'll always laugh at this scripture. So it say the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. So they was a day a natural born liar. So what makes you think that these people that's in power is going to ever tell you the truth? They only want to put forth their agenda. They want to put out their propaganda. Okay? And most of the masses is going to fall for it because, hey, that's just your lot. But for the ones who are in the know, you need to just listen or just shut the hell up, man. Because we ain't in the time to be trying to debate people, even though we know that's part of the job. But, hey, you try to come and talk to me about anything that's contrary to the truth, you're going to get ignored. But the Bible said, talk not much with a fool when you perceive that he have no understanding. Because all that's going to happen is, is either it's going, it's going to be a lot of bickering back and forth, a lot of yelling, and, and you're going to get out of character. So, and the, let's read four. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder. They stop at their ear. They don't want to hear the truth. First of all, they can't understand anyway. Now, Daniel's 12 and 10 said that the wicked cannot understand, man. So that's why they stopped their ear. They ain't trying to hear anything about the Israelites. They ain't trying to hear anything about how the Lord going to destroy them. They do know. The ones that's in power do know. That's why Revelation 12 and 12 say they have no, they have but a short time. So you're coming down with great wrath. All right. And when you when you actually, you know. Sit and think about it. I used to always in, in, in the water, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, that I'm not an Edomite. But I was thinking, if I was an Edomite, my mindset is Revelation 12 and 12. If I know I have nothing but a short time, I'm going to try to kill as many Israelites as I can. Because if I can't make it, nobody can make it. That's, he's a. <laughs> and guess what? The Lord, which Edomites is his sword, as it says in Psalm 17 and 13. The wicked is his sword, and he gonna allow his sword to touch who is supposed to be touched, man. So this ain't the time to be 
I just I just can't wait to um all hell break loose, man. Because that's when a lot of people are gonna be humble and then a lot of people are gonna shut up. Because a lot of people are still scoffing. And the Bible said that in the last days there should be scoffers. So it's not really a um a thing that we don't understand. But the Lord don't change, man. Everything that's gonna happen, everything that's written in the word is gonna happen. There's only like what? Like two like basically like two major prophecies left. And that's the um Mark of the Beast and World War Three. When those happen, guess what's gonna happen? Our deliverance is coming. And I wanna leave this because I always this is concerning the kingdom and this is what I mean by how people um you know how the Lord stay the same, but people change the Lord, man. The Lord don't change, people change the Lord, man. And it's just getting old. It's getting tacky. They don't have no scripture to back up. They they misinterpret scriptures and trying to make it hit. You can't make a misinterpret scripture hit, man. You can't take John three sixteen without going into the words in the in the actual language that it was written in. Like you can't do that. And you got to understand too. Why if 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 this book is for the Israelites only. So that means that the terminology is going, the person that's writing the letters is writing to other Israelites. So when they say all or whomsoever is talking about Israelites, if I'm writing a novel, I'm just going to use a novel. If I'm writing a novel to everybody in my household, say if I got 10 kids, all right, me and my wife, we got 10 kids or whatever. And I'm writing a novel to them. I'm going to use all. Okay? I'm going to use whomsoever. <laughs> okay? Because it's talking about all of these people that's in my house. It's very, very simple. But man, the Lord is a bad man because he said that he created things double unto each other. So that means you're going to have a stupid ass motherfucker and you're going to have a smart. You're going to have a wicked, you're going to have a righteous. You're going to have a up, you're going to have a down. You're going to have a left, you're going to have a right. You're going to have a high, you're going to have a cold. You're going to have hate, you're going to have love. You're going to have sad, you're going to have happy, man. So it's like, it's two, two uh, manners of people. And I'm talking about within the um, Israelites. It's two manner of people that's against each other. You know? He said he has set evil against the righteous and righteous against the evil. And the main people who trying to include heathen nations is our people. Stockholm Syndrome, man. Stockholm Syndrome. I expect the heathens to do that. I would do that if I was a heathen. No, nah, fuck that. God love me too. But hey, the word is the word. Stop picking up the book if you don't know what you're talking about. All right, and I'm gonna end it on this one. This is this is a this is plain as day. So it said in these days, and in, in these days is the days that's coming up. It's coming real soon. So in these days of these kings shall the most high of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. So that's the kingdom that's coming to the earth. Our kingdom through Yahweh Shai and King David. Okay. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. Wow. Wow. I just I just think it's so crazy how you can read this and still try to justify how God loves everybody. Guess, guess, guess what a person would say? Oh, that's the Old Testament. But this prophecy haven't even came to pass yet. So it seems like the Old Testament is relevant to me. Let's read this one more time. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. Wow. Wow. But somewhere, somehow, some way, somebody would try to justify that it ain't really saying that you misinterpret the scripture, man. That's what everybody wanna say. You misinterpret the scripture. Oh, you take you out of context. You taking out of context. All right. But it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever. So when the Lord come back, he's taking a crown off of everybody's head that's in power. All the kings that are in confederate with Babylon the Great, you know, the EU and the NATO and the EU, 
all right? The G677 Summit, all them people, you know? All the people that that's, that's you know, in a little kingdom that they have, you know, they gave, they gave over to the beast. And that's why in Revelation 17, that the ones that's confederate with them is going to hate the whore and burn it with fire. Because guess what? They all came under the dollar and now the dollar biting them in the ass. So when you, that's like if, if I'm in a, if I'm in a region of the earth and I got my own currency, everybody got their own currency and I got my own currency, but I, I, I actually trick y'all into just using my currency. I own you now. So these people thought, okay, all right, you know, America got a great military. We don't want that smoke. We, we, we don't, we don't want to go to war with them. So let's join them and be joint heirs. So these, the kings that they talk about, the ones that is joint heirs to, you know, Esau, Edom, Babylon, the great. All right. So Esau, Edom tricked them into really one of the trick is just the Lord. This is the Lord's movie. That's the way he wanted it. But they thought by joining Esau, they was going to be able to rule with Esau. And they never did what all they did was get stabbed in the back. Because this is the wicked, man. He's a wicked individual. He stabs everybody in the back, even his own people. You should not see a fucking white person homeless on the street, man. You ain't going to see nobody homeless in the Israelite kingdom. But hopefully this video was edifying and shalom.